When I first moved on campus and I walked into the room, all the walls were white, there was nothing on them, and I knew that I needed to make my room home. I brought pictures from home, my colorful sweaters, my decorations, inspirational quotes, my necklaces, everything that I thought I would need, I brought. I remember coming in on move-in day and I was just really freaked out because I would never looked away from home. And it was hard at first, but I think the first semester of my freshman year, there was so much going on and I was so busy in a good way that I didn't really have time to get very homesick. And I was really lucky. I, I really liked my roommate. We were best friends. So it was a really nice comfort system and, you know, family away from home. At least I, I know I'm from a big family. Me like too. I'm one yeah. of five kids. One of three. And, so, and we're all always together. And like, it's a, it's too big of a transition to just come and live by yourself. College is a completely different environment. I mean, it's completely different from high school. And you have all these different types of pressures. and. It's just nice to have someone, when you come back, be there for you. And she was there for me, and, and that even helped us to click even more, you know, Cause, because, she, <laughs> because she was there for me, you know? This is from my freshman year roommate. We're still close. Reslife chose my roommate for me. I actually have no one from my school or anything who's here. And they did an amazing, amazing job picking roommates. Um, I love my roommate. Actually, this is really embarrassing, but I was hiding it. But I actually, I brought Barney from home. Like, I got here and my roommate was like, I'm the same party. And I was like, what? Where am I? We're like best friends. Everyone has always asked us, like, did we choose roommates? Yeah, and we're like, no, we just met on the first yeah. day of school. But also you learn how to live with someone, which is, important because you're not always going to have your own house, your own room, your own apartment. If I'm playing music too loud or something, she's not afraid to tell me. And yeah. I think that's, that says a lot about our relationship. Yeah. You, know. you turn the straightener off and I'm straightening? Oh my god, so... Having a roommate can be frustrating when you just want to be alone. It really struck me like in the middle of my freshman year and I was just like, wow, I don't have any alone time, I don't have my own space. Sometimes like if my roommate was out or she had class and I didn't, I would just hang out in my room and watch online TV. If it does happen that I really, really need time and she's out there, you know, go for a walk. You have a beautiful area around here. I love Riverside Park and it's so great because it's so close to the quad. It's like a two minute walk. It's the best way to get your alone time and also get peaceful relaxation time. Everything is so accessible to you. You can walk out of your dorm and be at the subway stop and the entire city is open to you. When you're already living in the city, you're able to you know, wake up at seven in the morning and go wait at the box office to get student rush tickets for a Broadway show. You're able to go out with your friends and like come back from a late dinner. It's a challenge living in New York because there's so much to do, but you really need to find that balance between going to the library and doing your homework, going to class during the day, making time to eat dinner, change your sheets. There will be events off campus and on campus. And I think that Barnard gives you the good balance of giving you enough room to grow on your own and give you the support that you need in order to grow in the four years. It's one of the best experiences and one of the most necessary experiences a college student needs to go through just to mature and be able to live on their own and learn how to take care of themselves and Barnard does a great job of allowing that transition to be as easy as possible. They really are there, you know, reaching out and trying to get you to find your way. So don't put the pressure on yourself that you think that move-in day you need to know exactly what classes you're taking, how you're going to get your textbooks, how you're going to decorate your room, who's going to be your friends for life. It all works out in the end and it all falls into place and get a Barnard tote bag and you'll be fine. <laughs>